Hello students, the question is Consider a sphere of radius r which carries a uniform charge density rho. If a sphere of radius r by 2 is carved out of it, as shown, the ratio Ea by Eb, where Ea and Eb are the magnitudes of electric field at points A and B, as you can see in the figure. This question is taken from J. Main 2029 January 1st half. To solve this question, we have to first understand how can we find electric field due to a uniformly charged solid sphere. First, I write the formulas. Suppose this sphere has a total charge plus Q which is uniformly distributed total charge plus Q radius R we want to find electric field here this point is situated outside the sphere and the distance of the point from the center of the sphere is suppose X then intensity at this point that is a point which is outside is nothing but k into q divided by x square that's a very basic formula now if i want to find intensity at any point on the surface that is equal to k q divided by radius square okay now, for any point which is inside the sphere and situated at a distance x from the center, intensity is given by k q x divided by r q. These are the three formulas that you need to know to solve this question. Another thing which is very important here, see, from this entire sphere, a sphere of radius r by 2 is carved out, as you can see. And Ea and Eb are the electric fields due to the remaining portion, see, due to the remaining portion. Therefore, we need to find electric field due to remainder for that electric field due to remainder there are many ways to find electric field due to remainder but I personally like this thing E due to remainder is nothing but E naught minus E1 where E0 is the intensity due to the entire or whole sphere. E0 is the intensity due to the entire sphere or body whatever is given before removing any part. And E1 is the intensity at the same point, mind it at the same point due to the removed part this will give you the intensity due to the remainder okay I hope you understand now for this question see the radius of this entire sphere is R and from this sphere another sphere is curved out of radius r by 2 like this right and the volume charge density is given by rho which is uniform therefore I can say what is the charge on the entire sphere charge on the entire sphere before removing any part 
it is nothing but rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube right student this is the total charge let me denote this thing by q naught and what is the charge on the removed part charge on the removed part let's name it q1 it is rho into 4 by 3 pi r by 2 whole cube right so rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by 8 right student this is the charge on this portion only okay total charge q naught and charge on this is on the removed part is q1 now in the first case look at the question we have to find intensity at point a intensity at this point at point a and i will use this formula for point a this is the point a e not e not again i mention e not is the intensity at point a due to the entire sphere now for the entire sphere this point is nothing but the center and at the center if we look the formula of e inside at the center x is 0 so e naught is also 0 now coming to e1 e1 is the intensity at this point a due to the removed part okay now for the removed part a is nothing but a point on its surface and we know the formula of intensity at the surface is nothing but k into charge on the sphere which is q1 divided by radius square that is r by 2 square putting the values rho 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by 8 r square into 4 right and you will get two by three k rho pi r. Therefore, intensity at A due to the remainder is E naught minus E one, that is minus two by three k rho pi r. Therefore, mod of E A is 2 by 3 k rho pi r some may be curious about this negative sign what is the significance of the negative sign though it is not required in this question the significance of the negative sign is it indicates its direction let me tell you this due to this portion which is the removed part intensity at a is away radially away and this negative sign indicates that the final intensity due to the remainder is opposite to this direction that is like this okay okay let's see ea divided by eb b is the point here okay proceed to the next slide for point B okay. this is point B now E naught E naught is the intensity at point B due to the entire sphere for the entire sphere B is a point on its surface therefore e naught will be k into q naught divided by radius square because this radius is r and the total charge on the entire sphere is q naught putting the values q naught is rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by r square which is 4 by 3 k 
rho pi r right now e1 e1 is the intensity at point b same point b due to the removed part that is this part now for this part point b is a point which is outside so the formula is k into charge on that sphere q1 divided by distance from the center now distance from the center is r plus r by 2 which is 3r by 2 so 3r by 2 square putting the values again pi r cube divided by 8 into 9 r square 4 which is 4 by 6 into 9 k rho pi r right student I hope you understand this I can make it what is it? 2 by 27k rho pi r. Okay. Therefore, intensity at point B due to the remaining portion is E0 minus E1, which is if I take k rho pi r common minus 2 by 27 I hope didn't do any mistakes if I take LCM thirty four by twenty seven right now this is intensity at point B therefore the final answer is EA divided by EB EA is what EA is two by three two by three K rho pi R divided by EB is thirty four by twenty seven K rho pi R which is 2 into 27 divided by 3 into 34 17 9 9 by 17 that's the answer now look at the options 9 by 17 which is nothing but 18 by 34 so option D is correct D is correct. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, Faisalwar.